Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Um, landscape uh, from one of the parks here in Orangeville called Dragonfly Park. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share my poem devotional extracted from Proverbs 17 verse 9. It says, Love prospers when a fault is forgiven but dwelling on it separates close friends. Here's my poem. When fault is forgiven. Here's my poem. When you forgive a wrong done to you, you are emulating Christ and being brand new. Dwelling on resentment and bad feelings will only open your doors to the devil. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven. You will experience joy and blessings. Holding on to unforgiveness makes you bitter. It doesn't contribute to being a victor. Here's my essay. How do you know that you have forgiven someone? Is, is, it is not enough to say, I forgave you. Sometimes one must allow the process to happen. Recognizing you're wronged or offended and praying for that someone who hurt you takes a lot of courage and maturity. Some people think they have forgiven someone, yet they still keep a record of wrongs done to them. The minute something brings them back to that memory, the offense comes back in their minds. And the cycle of unforgiveness goes on. In 1 Corinthians 13, we are reminded that love is patient, kind, and does not keep a record of wrongs. When we hold on to all the that others did wrong to us, we are not walking in love. Instead, we are embracing bitterness. Whenever we choose not to forgive, we are choosing death. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates relationships. Prayer. Lord, remind me to always forgive myself and others. Reflection. How can forgiving oneself sometimes be more challenging than forgiving others? Well, I think in the process of forgiving someone, we always have a tendency to point our fingers on somebody, um, just like Adam and Eve did during the first fall when um, they were discovered about um, disobeying. Adam pointed his finger on Eve and Eve pointed her finger on the serpent. So, when we forgive someone, um, we automatically know that there is uh, somebody who done us wrong. And then we don't go to ourselves thinking that we need to forgive that person, no matter how offended we become. And in the process, we get lost. And so sometimes we stay on the not forgiving ourselves for allowing somebody to have done that and blaming ourselves for allowing ourselves to be in that situation. So it took me many years before I realized that I had unforgiveness for myself and it didn't help uh, me to mature and grow because the more I think of all the unforgiving things that was done to me, the more I became bitter. So I encourage you, when a fault is for uh, when when somebody has done you wrong and wronged you and did something to you um, choose to forgive because it will go a long way to your relationships thanks for watching i hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs have a blessed day